Well, welcome everyone uh, to an interesting, interesting video. Oh my gosh, my audio always, my what's going on? Music going, is the music going? We're good, sorry. Uh, welcome to an interesting video, a different thing for today. First of all, I don't think you're gonna find anybody who, um, who rips open more packs of Monarch First Edition on YouTube than right here at Kitchen Table TCG. So I hope that you're here. Hope that you're here for the ride. We're gonna do a, a case for a patron who hooked me up with some play mats uh, from from overseas. Really tough to find play mats. Um, so, uh, so it's, dude, it, it's gonna be fun. I I cannot wait to keep opening uh, Monarch First Edition, uh, and we're gonna do lots of it. We're gonna have Monarch First Edition every day. Every single day, we're gonna have some sort of Monarch First Edition pack opening, box opening, something throughout the whole thing. Um, so that that's the way it is. Today, we're gonna do a case. Uh, I usually have a chat to talk to while we're doing a case. I do not have that. I'm gonna do my best to entertain you <laughs> through the whole thing. I'm gonna do my best to entertain me through the whole thing. Uh, but this case is for Aaron Tan. Aaron, thank you for uh, for hooking me up some play mats. Thank you for, um, for getting it for me and for making sure that uh, my playmat collection can grow. So this is part of our, our transaction. Uh, so all these cards, I think he said I didn't have to send him the, the commons. Uh, but all these cards will, will go your way. Uh, oh man, this box got a little damaged. Um, all these cards will go your way and uh, and we'll go for it, man. We're, uh, we're looking good, dude. I'm excited. I'm excited for another case. We're gonna do cases like case breaks on Tuesdays. I think so, um, and that would be good. And uh, boom, let's hop in. Dude, all right, Aaron, may the force be with you. May the zoo be with you. <laughs> all right, I don't have a stream to, to know if my jokes are funny, uh, but we are going to rip through this. We might rip a little faster than we normally do. Uh, there won't be a free pack because we're going to do the um, dimensional crossroads off the that with the majestic rainbow foil uh prismatic shield so if you are looking for um for pull rates and all those sorts of things from uh from monarch first edition i'm really hoping that this channel uh, can help you pull that off i'm really hoping that i can provide the community uh with a lot of um pack openings so that we can get a good idea of what is in this set and, and what the rates are i know from our big huge 84 box stream uh, which actually turned into an 88 box stream. Uh, we we found out some stuff that uh, that's a little bit interesting for sure. Um, and I still like I I think I probably already did my video. I, I already posted it uh, from today. Uh, but I, I still just don't. I don't know. I, I don't know what the pull rates are. I feel like I should know, but I don't know. I don't know what the pull rates are. I feel like after opening and seeing all these boxes opened, we should have a better idea of what's going on, but we simply don't. And uh, so anyway, hopefully we can pull a fable too, because man, if I can hit the library, it was so good. I don't care who it's for. Uh, Bolting Blade, there we go, Majestic. Um, yeah, I just want to hit it. I want the experience of opening one. You know what I mean? Like that would be fun as heck. Uh, so Aaron, I'm rooting for you, dude. I'm rooting for you. Uh, so here we go. We're just going to keep ripping. Oh, Hooves of the Shadow Beast, our first cold foil. Uh, they are cold foil common and a Herald of Triumph. I almost forgot. Uh, there was some other stuff that I owed Aaron. Uh, some MetaZoo stuff. And uh, he. Uh, I told him he won. He's actually, this is the guy that actually Ray we got in touch uh, where's those promos? Uh, he won the promo. He won a, uh, a released event medal. So, uh, I gotta remember to hand him that from our MetaZoo box opening. And, uh, I told him I would send him some other stuff for fun too. Not MetaZoo, but, um, just some other promos I've got laying around and, uh, flesh and blood stuff and all sorts of things. So Ray of Hope, there we go. It'll be interesting to see where, like, where those Ray of Hope uh, cold foils land. I've seen them sell them for a lot of money. It seems like a lot of money for those things. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but I'm interested to hear from you. I know I can't do, like, the whole live chat thing here. Uh, we just, I don't have, I, I, I got to do these videos where I don't have to, like, schedule them out and stuff like that sometimes. Uh, we will be doing live streams two to three, or one to two times a week. And hopefully more in the future. Oh, Phantom, Phantom, Phantasma, Phantasmaclasm, Phantasmaclasm. Boom. I'm learning. I'm learning how to pronounce the made up words, everyone. Uh, so 
I'm interested from you. What do you think? What are your feelings as somebody who is uh, watching pack openings? You're obviously watching this video. I assume that you're watching other YouTube channels. What are your feelings on pull rates? Like, what do you think is happening? Do you think, oof. Do you think that the legendary pull rate is higher? Like I'm, I'm hearing people talk like one in every 33, sorry, one in every 3.3 uh, .3 boxes. Um, I know on the Facebook, uh, it looks like everyone and their grandma has pulled a fable and the fable is worth nothing. Uh, and the, if you buy a kit from Rudy, you're guaranteed yourself to hit the fable. That's what it appears. Uh, if you're only looking on Facebook, but if you're watching my channel, it's like the fable doesn't exist and it, it's not possible to pull. So like, who knows? Like, what's the deal? Like, I don't know guys. Uh, and then the, the cold foil majestics, like what is the, what is it? Ooh, nourishing emptiness. There we go. I almost feel like, I almost feel like we need clarification. I, I feel like everything, and maybe I'm putting too much weight on my channel and that could very easily be what is happening. Uh, I'm extremely biased. I love Kitchen Table TCG. I want my channel to have, I want my videos to be accurate. I want when I say something to be truthful. I don't want to just speculate. That's what the whole idea of opening 40 boxes on one channel uh, at once on release day was to like help the whole community understand pull rates and like not have any question about it. And here we are with, I think more questions than when we open. <laughs> like, I just feel like the whole thing did the opposite of what I wanted it to do. And in fact, I didn't pull Fable. So it was even more the opposite of what I wanted it to do. Um, so like, guys, I don't know. I think like, I, I wish we knew what the pull rates were for like the majestic cold foils. Which we, like, I don't feel like the Fable pull rate changed. I, I think we just got unlucky. And like, that doesn't surprise me. I thought honestly we would open either two Fables like each or no Fables. <laughs> oh, Spill Blood. I think that card is so good. I think that is going to be such a huge card. Um, it, it, I think, uh, I thought we would either pull no Fables or like three on the stream. Um, so I didn't like the way that that went, obviously, but like, I don't like that we have, in my mind, like the whole community has more questions about the pull rates based on my stream than when we started the stream. Like we don't know what, we don't know what's what. And so that's, ooh, mutated mass. Dude, like the, like the detail and the artwork. All right, let's talk about the card too. You can play from your banishment. Like I love that this set has opened up like all sorts of different play zones and like it's got the blood debt thing like the gameplay everyone who's like oh nobody plays it like you need to play this game listen to me people please play the game buy some unlimited it doesn't matter what first edition box prices are buy unlimited when it comes out in a couple weeks play the game it's so good drafting sealed anything playing the blitz deck buy yourself a set of blitz decks learn how to play it's so good where's our cold flow do we hit a cold oh we hit the hoofs okay uh all right engulfing light Ooh, lumina ascension like what's the pull rate of the, the like i've seen people no joke i've heard people say that they open three in one case rainbow foil uh majestic full art and that's what tells me that maybe it's not intentional. Maybe there was a coalition issue. I don't have evidence of those packs though, those boxes. That's the thing. Like, I don't, I, like, I know people are saying it. Man, wait a second. Boom. Food to wrath. Yeah, that's cool. I, like, unless you have box opening video, like everyone should record their openings and then be able to report and like have evidence. Cause I, it's hard to believe somebody who says that they pulled three extended art rainbow foils in one case. And then it's like, okay, well, like the videos that we see online don't, like they don't suggest that. Um, so that's one, like, I think, I don't know. But I, I really wish we had some clarity on things. I don't think we'll get it. And I understand why we won't get it. Like I, I respect that from LSS. Like I really do respect that. I respect the idea that they can't just tell us all the pull rates and that that would influence the market. And maybe they don't want to do that in, um, in a specific way. I just feel like it would be helpful, but I'm extremely biased. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm so biased. Like I, I that was like one of my biggest things on this channel that I wanted to be about is helping the community understand data and like i've talked to you guys about it before but like the reason i do the market update videos 
um, you know, and originally there was no Patreon attached to the market update videos. Somebody actually asked me, hey, could you do this? Can I tip you? And, you, and I was like, oh, if people are offering to give me money, I might as well start a patron. Um, and then it grew into something that's awesome and really helpful for the channel. But uh, view the, oh wait, what happened? Uh, smash with, smash with big tree, Hulk smash, Hulk smash with big tree. Um, but my, my goal of doing the market update videos, the first market update video I did, the goal was to say, hey, let's all take a look at this and let's learn together and let's do the data right and let's figure out like, what the rates of things are, what the what the value of things is, so the market can have, because at the time it was the Wild West. Like at the time it was absolutely chaotic. Nobody had any clue what cards were valued. Um, you know, it was, it was absolute chaos uh, because TCG player had just come out and there was no like, like they were, you know, they, they still, the data on TCG player is rough because they, they don't differ, dif differentiate between uh, first edition and unlimited in their kind of market pricing thing. And so, you know, the goal of the channel started, the goal of all that stuff started as like, let's help everyone. Ooh, phantoclasm, phantasmoclasm, 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 phantasmoclasm. I gotta learn it. Um, that's what it started at. And so like, that's my heart for my channels. I want, I just, I mean, I feel like I, I don't feel like I let you down. I feel like my polls let us down. I feel like our poll rate and data, unless the data is right, that's the thing. If the data is right, and in that case, like, what do we do with Cold Foil Majestics? Um, so, I don't know. Uh, Bounding Demigon. I do have some, uh, ooh, Rouse the Anxious. Dude, this card is gonna be so good in Guardian. I do have some people who are um, also tracking data of other polls uh, and, and sending me that stuff um, from other channels and, kind of making sure that uh, we get different, you know, stuff. But man, I'm hearing all sorts of things from individuals too. So my gut is that our data is close to accurate. The first half of the video, if you didn't watch the whole video, the first half of the video was far, far more legendary specific. Um, the second half of the video, ooh, tear limb from limb, boom. Second half of the video seemed to be a little bit more reasonable. But the Cold Foil Majestic still, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it just takes the slot of a legendary. Dimensional Gateway, boom. Uh, so this always confuses me. Ready? Ready for confusion? This confuses me a lot. The two card names. I hope that doesn't confuse players. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter because one's an, one's an aura. I don't know. I, I hope it doesn't confuse players though. Uh, that's one one question I had. Just the names being so similar, it confuses me as an as somebody who's opening packs a lot. Um, but man, I didn't realize how hard it was going to do do a case and have conversations with myself. Uh, what do I want to talk about? Like, what do you, what do I want to talk about? We talk about poll days. We want to talk about the gameplay. So I played in Prism, right? I played Prism in my Armory event this week. Um, oh, Rainbow Foil Extended. Let's go. Dude, Aaron, dude, I think this is a massive pull. Dude, I think this is a massive, massive pull. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's awesome. I'm excited for you, dude. Oh, dude, I think that's a massive pull. I do, I really believe that this is going to be a huge card. I think this is like, I, I personally think one in 20 boxes for each one, right? There's three of them. One in 20 boxes to hit a majestic full art. This is my belief. I'm not saying that this is accurate. I'm saying this is my belief. One in 20 boxes to hit a full art, right? So if there's three of them, then this specific card is one in 60 boxes. Does that make sense? Boom. That's awesome. Congratulations on your Herald full art rainbow foil. I think it might, so let's see. I, I think it might take the cold foil slot. So I don't think we're gonna get a cold foil in this box. That's my prediction. Don't think, and on top of that, I, I could be wrong. Well, you know, I'm not gonna like, you know. Oh, Tome of Divi this is a spicy box. Uh, it, on top of that, I think it might take the legendary spot. That's my gut, that's my gut, is that they coll collated it in that way. So it takes the legendary spot and that it's one in 60 per, you know, one in 40, or one in 20 boxes. Um, that's my gut, that's my gut, man. We'll see. 
So I think it's going to be, I think that's going to be with Long Knife. I do. Um, I wouldn't, like, I'm not buying them. Like, I, I'm not buying them at, like, 500. Um, I would probably buy them at 250 right now, for sure. Like, I would snap buy that at 250. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think that's, I still, even though I wouldn't buy it at 500, because, you know, I pulled some of them. I don't really need them. I don't like to, like, buy cards just to sell them in the future. It's not my thing. Um... I like to buy cards to finish my collection. Um, I still think it's a thousand bucks. I think that's I I think that will be the same price as a legendary. I think legendary will even out at a thousand. Um, that's my opinion. Anyway, uh, seeping shadow, dude. The artwork. I mean, that's such a basic artwork, but it's still so cool. Um, man, yeah, cool. Uh, oh my gosh, this box is so good. Okay. This card's good in Classic Constructed. It might not be good in Blitz. Don't get blindsided. If Classic Constructed, you know, takes over as the main format, which I think it will, like, that card is so good. That is an auto-include in every light deck in Classic Constructed. Every light deck will auto-include that card in Classic Constructed. Okay? So. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Dude, this box is fire. Oh my! Oh, dude! What a box! Holy moly! A vestige! Like everything is so perfect for light. Oh my gosh! Where's my sleeves? Vestige of soul, dude! Congratulations! The cold foiling on this card is so good too. Uh, your corners, eh, it it's a little nicky there little nicky there and the corners are better than the the other cards have been uh that that those corners weren't great though uh but most of the corners i've seen have been pretty good honestly comparatively you know not compared to like i, I gotta say the meta zoo corners we pop up a meta zoo. we did a meta zoo corners the other day and everybody was giving me a hard time on putting these in there uh we did corners for i did i looked at the corners of meta zoo packs the other day they're like really clean. And that was a little frustrating to me because I feel like flesh and blood corners kind of suck. So, um, anyway, a uh, different printer, you know, for what it's worth. Uh, I guess it's worth a lot. Um, all right, rising solar tide. Dude, congratulations, Aaron. This box, uh, this is great. This is a fantastic box. Fantastic box. And you got two boxes left. Dude, you are, uh, so it, I'm wrong. It doesn't take the, the, it definitely doesn't take the legendary slot or it's definitely not supposed to take the legendary slot because, um, we got the, the hero. Oh, I mean, two legendary box. I haven't seen a ton of that. So, uh, I'm going to go with, it doesn't take the legendary slot now. Uh, and I know what people are going to say. Well, Louie, how could it take the slot? Norshin, dude, this box is fire. This box is fire. How does it take the legendary slot? If it's not cold foil and that's a great question so maybe i was stupid but i don't know how to do that i'm not i don't make cards i open them people I'm not perfect i i don't know i just feel like, like that could have been intentional anyway that's definitely not the way it is based on this box um because we got you know both of them the full art this box is super good like this is as good as you can do in a box without hitting the fable absolutely as good as you can do in a box without hitting the fable memorial ground consuming aftermath and Vestige is like one of the best um, uh, legendaries. Whenever you pitch a light card, if it's been put into your hero soul this turn, gain one. That is literally so good. Literally, I'm not being figurative, everyone. I hate when people do that. Not being figurative. Literally so good. All right. Boom. Let me clean up some piles, man. Let me clean up the piles. A whole case break. For your viewing pleasure, you don't even have to be watching it live for your viewing pleasure. Dude, Vestige of Soul and a Herald in the same dang box. All right, two boxes left. Case Cam 5001. Case Cam 5000 broke our stream, so we updated it to Case Cam 5001 if you missed out. All right, I'm almost out of things to talk about. We're 20 minutes in. We have two boxes left. I'm out of things to talk about. I don't know what else to say. I have not like had time to be like super active in the whole like world lately. So I don't know what's going on, honestly. Um, but here's the thing. 
I know we can talk about some cards. I know that. I know we can talk about some cardboard. And uh, I think we can do that. So let's uh, let's do some like ooh, Rift of Torment, dude. Like, <laughs> like, like, just take a minute to look at the artwork. You guys want to talk about Blood Debt? Let's talk about Blood Debt. I think um, so. Blood Debt is going to be. I don't think we really understand how good Blood Debt is. I think we're just scratching the surface. Well, sorry. When I say we, you guys know I'm talking about me, right? <laughs> Which is maybe not the average. <laughs> maybe I'm like the below average player. Definitely below average. Um, but so blood debt, if you're curious on what it does. So at the beginning of the end phase, if it's in your banish zone, you lose one life. And the whole thing is you're putting a lot of blood debt cards into your banish zone in order to do things that are really good. Like you're able to up your game. You're able to be better. You're able to, um, uh, oh my gosh, like listen. You are able to like really push yourself to, um, to, to be to do better things and more aggressive things and whatever but as a result of doing that you have to hurt yourself at the end of your turn uh but then there's you know the hero uh uh, uh what's her face um levia can turn that off you can turn off blood debt and then you don't take the damage so i don't feel like we fully realized how to take advantage of that yet and um Again, ooh, Soul Shield. Boom. Oh, gosh, the artwork is so good. Like, every card, the artwork is fantastic. I I don't have... Somebody asked on stream, do you have a card that you don't like the artwork? I, I haven't looked at it enough to have a least favorite artwork yet. Um, because it's that difficult. Like, I, 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 in some of the other sets, I look at like, oh, that's definitely my least favorite artwork. I can't do that with this one. So, Blood Dat. Um, Void Wraith. Uh, so I don't know, like, it's like, I think, I know I keep saying this classic constructed will really, really, really be a really interesting, um, blood debt conversation because, uh, your games are longer. So you're going to have to make it more consistent because you're going to have more cards in your banish zone and it will be a higher risk in blitz. Your games are shorter. So the, you have less cards in your banish zone. So it's a lesser risk of putting cards in your banish zone. Because eventually you're gonna be blood deading like 10 life, right? And I know you, I, I get it. You also will have more life because it's classic constructed. But I feel like that uh, that doesn't weigh as much as like every turn. I think that multiplies in my opinion. I haven't played enough classic constructed to really like speak truth on the topic, but I'm just opening packs right now and I'm sharing my thoughts and that's what matters. Um, so I think that in classic constructed blood debt is going to be, oh, cold foil halo. This is a, like a light all around cold foil light. Uh, I guess we got a shadow shadow beast, but man, everything you need for your light heroes right here, Aaron, everything you need and a soul harvest. Um, so, you know, you, you turn off the, the blood debt and later in the game, you should still be able, you'll still be able to turn off the blood debt. Um, but the problem is that if you can't turn it off, you're going to take more damage. Uh, and that's, you know, going to be obviously worse. So, I don't know. I think blood does a really, really good oh, spill blood. Nice. I think what, oh, oops, go there. I think blood does a really, really good mechanic. It's a super creative mechanic. Like I can't tell you how genius James White and his team at LSS are for creating a mechanic like that. That is so like refined and seems to be so both game breaking and game defining and by game breaking i don't mean that it's imbalanced because it's it, in my mind it is is super balanced like oh, dude. this is the artwork i've said this in video before this is the artwork that tells me pve is coming why why oh soul food soul food give me some soul food why go through the, the pressure of making this artwork highlight something like that if that wasn't going to happen that's my that's my theory if like fighting something like that wasn't going to be a thing within the game again i'm really biased like i want pve i <laughs> i want pve to happen so via the vanguard that oh, man i want pve to happen. deep rooted evil majestic i want it to happen so bad like i can't tell you i just want it to happen I just want PvE. I want to sit with my friends and play together and try to defeat 
either one of my friends. Oh, double cold foil common box. Dude, Aaron, you're killing it, man. You're killing it. You're killing it. Um, I, I want to sit with my friends and either play against one of my friends who's like running a thing or, which would be me, I'd be the one. I'd be the bad guy. I'm always the bad guy. The Empire are the good guys in Star Wars. And if you disagree with me, you're wrong. Um, but the Empire are totally... This is my favorite rainbow foil. Sonata Arconics, dude. <laughs> it's just so good. Like the artwork, like look at all the things that are happening. Like what is going on? You know what I mean? Like what is happening in this art? I love it. And it's, okay, so it's like 50% of the time I'm telling you, you get a foil majestic, you get a regular majestic in the back. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't even remember what I was talking about now. That that completely caught me off guard. And there's no chat to remind me. It's a shame. It's an absolute shame. Uh, yeah. All right, let's pick it up. So, uh, so blood debt, really good. Here's the thing. Um, the other one, kind of the opposite of blood debt is, um, is, uh, is charging. And, and charging is really good too. I, I feel like charging is a little more difficult. Where blood debt is like a gamble and gambling is pretty easy, right? Um, it's kind of like swing big. It's kind of easy to turn off. Charge, I think might be the better mechanic, like the more strong mechanic, less risky mechanic, more strong mechanic. But I think it requires a whole lot more talent. I played a Bolton deck the other day. I was playing the, the Bolton uh, Blitz deck. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I can't figure it out. Again, like I, I didn't watch any deck techs. I didn't watch any videos. I'm sure uh, I'm actually going to be putting out. I'm going to kind of learn. I have my uh, my kitchen table TCG competitive team. The, the leaders of the kitchen table TCG competitive team uh, are, are filling me with some knowledge on gameplay stuff and, and helping me to be a better content creator. Uh, to put out better videos of like how to play. Um, and so we're going to have a video a week starting maybe this week. I don't know. Uh, that's going to be how to play the hero decks. And that's going to be huge. Uh, and I think that's going to help uh, hopefully you, but also hopefully me learn how to play them and really practice. Um, and I'm looking forward to that. So uh, maybe we'll do some like hero deck versus hero deck battles or something like that too, where it's like those of you who are just getting into the game can learn how to... Um, Play, you know, based on just the hero decks, it's an easy thing for you to pick up and learn how to play with. So that's the goal. Um, but anyway, uh, so the the whole charge thing, just a little, ooh, beacon of victory. So cool. I don't know, the whole charge thing, just a little bit more difficult in my mind than the uh, the kind of putting stuff in your, your banish zone and taking life. And it seems like more of a Hail Mary compared to charge where it's like, intentional and making healthy decisions and uh working for you know not not like a combo i guess it's a little combo but working for like a case cam thanks for being here case cam appreciate you boom um so last box what are we thinking are we gonna, are we gonna hit a double legendary we're we gonna hit a double legendary in this case it's been a pretty good case so far it has not been like a three legendary case though. We saw a lot of those. We saw three legendary cases. Did Mitch hit a two legendary box? I think Mitch may have hit a two legendary box, honestly. Um, I can't remember, dude. I'm so tired. I'm still tired. I'm two, two days later, I'm still tired from uh, <laughs> from this stupid... Uh, that we didn't find out anything. Lunar Tide Plunderer. We didn't, I, we didn't crack the code. James Wade's too smart. He's too smart for us. We're gonna have to do a 24 hour live stream. Foil Exude Confidence is a hit, man. That is a hit. No Majestic in the back. Uh, so we're gonna do a, I wanna do, I'm not promising this. Well, here's what I wanna do. I'm not promising. But here's what I want, a 24 hour charity live stream next year for Kingdoms, at the end of the year for Kingdoms. 24 hour charity live stream, where instead of donating per legendary, it's like a pay, uh, a pay-per-view thing, right? So it's just easier. It would just be like a one time, you gotta pay this amount of money. Uh, it, it's it's easier to manage, it doesn't matter how many legends you pull. Uh, but uh, like, you guys had fun. I feel like people had a lot of fun. 
And so now that we know like there is a demand for it, Shadow of Urser, this in foil is so cool because the the when you go like this, the uh the it drips into the into the pool. It is so cool. I didn't pull one of those. Mitch pulled one of those. He was showing me. Uh so jealous. Um so anyway, 24 hour kingdoms. Mitch didn't like this idea. Uh George didn't respond, so I assume he didn't like it either. Uh but 24 hour and instead of doing it per legendary, it would just be like a one-time donation to the charities. Like we wouldn't have to handle any of the money for the charity. That's one thing that's like a little, uh, it was a lot of, it's a lot of work. Um, we wouldn't have to handle any of the money for the charity, but it, it would be like a pay-per-view. Sonata Arconic. Dude, every time I pull this card, I love it. I've never even played it. And it's a Rune Blade card. So I love that. Reveal the top X plus three cards of your deck for each. What's the X? Oh, I knew that. I don't know why I forgot that. Uh, for each at non-attack action card, let's put it this way, put an attack action card reveal this way into your hand. Okay. Uh, then deal arcane damage to target hero equal to the number of cards put into your deck this way. So, dude, if you could, like, generate tons of resources, you could do a cool, you could do a ton of fun there. Plus it has go again. That's a good card. Um, so, 24 hours and one case every hour for three or four people at the same time. Like I thought it was a ton of fun having the, the whole um, like multi view, multi cases opening. So if we got like one more person and like if George opened, you know, 40 cases or whatever, uh, it would be 24 cases. Uh, it would be awesome. And that then would give us enough data. Like that would be then four different locations receiving product from four different like you know, distribution hubs or whatever, and um, opening a uh, dream weavers. I don't know the rest of the words to the song. Sorry, you guys had to just hear me sing. That really stinks. Um, all right, cold foil common, not a cold foil majestic that I'm sure you're hoping for or legendary. Uh, dream weavers is a cool card though. Anyway, but that would allow us to have four different sources of data, deep rooted evil, four different sources from four different locations of data and have additional boxes and raise tons of money for charity. Now, that's a win in my book. I'm sorry, that's a win in my book. So now the problem is, am I gonna be able to get that amount of things? Soul shield, boom, majestic rainbow foil. That's a double, Do we hit the exude confidence in this box or the last box? I feel like Exude Confidence was this box. Because we hit the Sonata Arconics, the last box. I feel like that's a double majestic rainbow foil box. Uh, it's going to be, can I get the product? I mean, Mitch is not going to have any problem getting the product because he's a single store. I'm just a YouTube dude. Um, I've got some things in the work that maybe I'd be able to get that in my product. Listen, I'm not sure. Um, I pre-ordered a ton of product. <laughs> And it was like, or it was I gonna be able to, like I had to like make some deals locally with stores. Um, so I'm sure like, oh, it's great because you didn't pull a fable. So I now I get boxes that might have a fable. Um, but anyway, I, I had to make some deals locally. Genesis, boom. So I I need to figure out how to lock in the cases for that for kingdoms so that we could do that because that would be a ton of fun. And I feel like that would give us the accurate pull data. And that's what I'm going for here. Rouse the Ancients. Because they wanted to make a Guardian card, but they didn't want Guardian in the set. So that would be a lot of fun. 24 hours is a long time. 12 hours was rough. It That was rough. But here's the thing. It's for charity. So it's like, can you complain? You can't complain. It's for charity. But we can complain about staying up for 24 hours when people have ALS or people have... Alzheimer's, what are you gonna do? Complain about that? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Don't complain about that. Um, so, oh, dude. Okay, artwork, right? Like, let's talk about it. What is happening? What is it? What is that thing eating? Oh, it's a person's head. Is it a person's head? Is that a person? Oh my gosh, she's just like grabbing him by the head and eat, like, I wanna meet one of these things in real life and, and see how scary it is. I mean, it looks scary in the picture, but you think it's really that scary in real life? Mutated mass, this is, this is what, oh my gosh, it's the same place, I'm right. Look, dude, oh my gosh, did I just make science? Did I just find out science? Look, 
This is this is one scene, and then this is the next scene. I did it. I I solved the riddle of everything. That that solves all the questions we all have about flesh and blood and monarch. It's done. The cards line up. It's done. Everyone liked the video because I just made science. Eclipsing that every time I pull this, I think it's something good because of the stupid promos. Oh, and Captain's Call. All right. Uh, we have six packs left. This was a good case. I mean, this was, this was in my mind, a more average case. Unless we hit another legendary. This is more of what I was expecting. Unhollowed Rites, Rainbow Foil Rare, and Glisten. This is more of what I was expecting from um, from the case break. It was more stuff like this, like one legendary, maybe a Rainbow Foil, uh, Majestic Full Art, maybe not. That's kind of what I was expecting. Oh, a Luminaris in the clothes, Majestic. That's good. Um, I was not expecting cases with like four, three or four legendaries. We didn't pull any four legendary cases. But I did see other people claim four legendary cases, and I 100% agree. I I 100% uh, believe that. Like that does not surprise me one dang bit. Are right, we got four packs left? This is fun. This is good. I would do this again. What do we have? 40 minutes. Oh, dude, I was cracking packs fast, wasn't I? I was. Cra well, I'm not reading a comment section. I can pull. I can open some packs. All right. Uh, dude, Aaron, I, again, I appreciate you, my friend, Aaron, uh, if anyone's ever dealing, deal, doing deals with Aaron Tan on Facebook, uh, he's a good dude. He's a patron and, uh, he hooked me up with some play mats. Uh, dude, there we go. Boom. My lights just went out. Perfect timing. He hooked me up with some play mats and with some stuff and we, we had a good case, you know, we had a good transaction, good trade. Uh, so shout out to him. Uh, I'm sure I'll leave him feedback I already have. Uh, but I appreciate it. Um, thanks for this part of the deal and all that stuff and, and allow me to open it on, on stream or on camera too. And uh, dude, I appreciate you. Uh, the rest of you guys, I am very curious to hear what you think about the pull rate data. And uh, you know, kind of based on the video I did probably today and uh, smash with big tree, smash with big tree. This is the last pack, smash it with the big tree and phantasm and dust path, uh, kind of a boring close there. Uh, but I'm interested to see what you guys think about the poll data, about the poll rates, um, based on other videos. I mean, obviously like, uh, you know, I'm in one area of the country. I don't know. I guess I got probably from all over though. So I don't know if that matters. I don't know, everyone. I just want to know what the poll rates are so I can do my videos and provide accurate data for you guys in my videos. That's my heart. That's what I want to be able to do. Uh, all in all, this case had uh, lots of uh, majestics because that's what happens now. Uh, we had... Um, uh, this dude, you guys want to do a whole thing? You want to do the whole case? Those of you who are too lazy to do the math. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 Majestics. What is that per box? I don't know. I can't do that math in my head. Do you think I am a genius? All right. And uh, three, so four, this is, this is what I would expect. One per box on the Majestic Rainbow Foils. And then I think this is a special hit this uh, for majestic. And then we did hit a, a regular number of cold foils. Actually, we got one bonus cold foil in my mind. So, you know, five cold foils and one legendary. So not, not, a, not the best spot, not the best case, uh, Aaron, but again, I think this Herald, I think that's gonna add value. Uh, now that I threw it on the ground, uh, it's in good condition. So I'm sure I won't move my chair. I'll get it. I'm not gonna move my chair. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day. Remember to be kind to the people around you. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section about pull rates and all that kind of stuff.